Hey, how are you? It's Ralph from ECS Tuning. Today we're going to walk you through the steps of a rear brake job on a Mark V GTI. We'll show you the parts you need and the tools you need to do the job. Don't run off. Here are the parts we'll be installing. New rear brake rotors, new rear brake pads, and new caliper attachment bolts. All right, now these are the tools we're going to be using. The brake caliper piston tool, a long-handled half-inch ratchet, a torque wrench, a 17-millimeter lug bolt socket, 22, 15, and 13-millimeter combination wrenches, an M14 triple square. This is for removing the caliper frame bolts, a T30 and impact driver, and a roll lock disc to clean the wheel hub. Our first step is going to be to remove this caliper. We're going to need two wrenches, a 15 and a 13. Take the 15 and slide it over the backing nut on the slide pin. Come around from the back side with a 13 millimeter and loosen the bolt. Now you can see the blue Loctite on the threads. Your new bolts will have blue Loctite already installed. Now repeat the process on the bottom of the caliper. Now once the bolt is loose, you can take it the rest of the way by hand and lay it aside. And then take the caliper and remove it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the pads. Just pry them out. You can see they each fit in slots, top and bottom, with retainer clip hardware. This is what we call a just-in-time brake job. The friction lining is paper thin. And the same for the inside. Now if you've never done a caliper like this before, you need to know that you're not just going to push this piston back in with a big pair of channel locks or a big C-clamp. This piston has to be screwed back into place using this tool. This is a special tool. It has a number of different heads to fit different size calipers that just snap on like this. You take this disc and you drop it into the caliper frame. You take up the slack with this collar. With the tool in place, steady it with a backing wrench, and then screw the piston in. Now reverse it to take the tool out. All right, now while you're in here, just do a good inspection of the caliper, of the brake mechanism. Make sure the boot isn't torn on your handbrake cable. And do a quick inspection of this boot too, looking for any tears, rips, anything that would let water get into this piston, because if it does, it's going to cause problems. This one looks good. Now that we've got the caliper unbolted, we don't want to let the caliper hang from the rubber brake hose. We don't want to stress this hose and damage it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of shop wire or a bungee cord, if you have one, to suspend the caliper like so. Next, we have to remove this caliper frame. Now, the caliper frame bolts to the rear knuckle with these two long bolts. That's why we need the triple square M14 driver that we talked about in our initial tool description and a long ratchet because these are going to be tight and they're likely to come out hard. One top, one bottom, remove them both and you can take the caliper frame off the car. Now before we put the caliper frame back on the rear axle hub, what we want to do is double check these two slides to make sure that they're moving freely. And we also want to check to make sure that these rubber boots are not torn or that they're cracked. These are available separately. If you have any doubt about these, replace them. Pull the pins out and make sure the holes are full of fresh grease.
apply fresh grease if necessary. Next we have to take off the rotor and it's held in place by a set screw. Now this one's not rusted, it would probably come out with a ratchet. But if you've got a rusted one, take your impact driver and whack it with a hammer. That way your shirt will come out. Now next we're going to take a roll lock disc and an angle head die grinder. If you don't have one of these, you can use a drill. The reason we're using this is we want to take all the rust and scale off this hub so the new rotor will sit flat. All right, now we'll install the new rotors. We'll align the hole for the set screw and install it. Now it's time to reinstall the brake caliper frame. Slide it into place. Insert the bolts. Now we're going to put the brake pads in. We've got the caliper frame in and tightened down. Take your rear pad, slide it into place. Take your front pad and slide it into place. Now we'll reinstall the caliper over the pads and use the new caliper retaining bolts to secure the caliper ear to the slide pin, top and bottom. Put your 15 millimeter open end on the hex on the caliper slide pin and use your 13 to tighten down the retaining bolt. Now do the same thing on the bottom caliper bolt. All right, now that we've got one side done, let's go over to the other side of the car and repeat these steps to finish our job. One last thing, before you take this out on the highway, take a second and pump the pedal up. This is Ralph from ECS Tuning. We'll see you next time.